it's kind of silly. What do you know about it? Yeah, you know what? We're, we're, we're trying to inform the public of this project that Dr. Pandy is doing here at Stafford. B.J. Pandy, yeah. Yeah, B.J. Uh, so what we're doing is kind of breaking down pieces of information so that it's more palatable. Palatable. Yes. Digestible. Palatable. Good I like when you yes. talk about food. I love yes. food. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're talking about proteins, actually, and that's ah. where we get our proteins from is food. Ah, okay. So it's just one of those things. The more you understand about it, the better you can comprehend it. Well, the more science is going to advance. So this project actually has to do with what's called folding at home. Mm -hmm. People use their PCs yes. to what's called shared architecture to actually use their processors to fold these proteins at home. It would take a supercomputer 30 years to do just one protein and all the permutations, whereas this project, I don't know how long, I don't know what the time frame is. Yeah. A few years, four years, five years? I, I think so. It is. And do so all 4,000 or 40,000, whatever the number is. Yeah. And so, then, so when you use your computer, you retrieve this information, and then the information is sent back to Stanford so that they can analyze it, basically. It's yeah. a real neat way of gathering information Using, you know, the public. Absolutely. And and, and, and they're well informed. Well, hopefully we can help with that. Yeah, hopefully we can help. Yeah, hopefully we can help. Yeah, hopefully can help. Just call myself, okay. David, or, or you can follow me, Amina, and learn more about proteins and folding them all. We'll tell you more.